Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve here with The Phantom Show. I got my nephew, Paul, with me again. He's going to be helping me out with this video. Just a short little video tonight. One little quick thing to cover. Oh, and after we're done, I do have a major announcement to make, so please stay tuned for that. But as I said, this isn't going to take long. It's real simple, so let's go ahead and jump in. So first of all, um, give me one of your favorite TV shows. Um, I, That's a hard one, actually. But... You gotta have one, man. I do have. A, it'd probably be the uh, uh, Stranger Things was a good one. Okay. Do you have a favorite character on Stranger Things? Uh, what was the name with the messed up teeth at the start? Messed up teeth. Yeah, he he had like the lisp and stuff. Oh, Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. Okay. He was my favorite character. He still is. Ah, He's all right. Great character. So obviously, all the kids from Stranger Things are. Pretty popular. The name of the actor who plays Dustin is escaping me at the moment. I apologize. You've never been to a Comic Con, right? Uh, I have. I've been to a, the smaller Mississippi one. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, let's. Okay. Let's say you went to Comic Con and the guy who plays Justin was there. How much do you think you have to pay for an autograph from him? Do you think? Just give me a number. Uh. So a photo and an autograph is probably like sixty bucks with most people, because that's how much it was for the Black Power Ranger. When I went. That's a little on the cheaper side. Most of the folks that I usually see, it's somewhere like 60 to 80 for a photo and same for an autograph. And then usually if you want both, they'll do it for like 100, 120, something like that. But that's that's about the going rate. So today we're actually talking about, well, kind of. So we're talking about ta -da, Luke Skywalker. Not exactly Luke Skywalker, actually Mark Hamill, but close enough, right? So, um, Recently, at the Chicago Fan Expo, there was a thing that went viral. Somebody took a picture of a sign at Mark Hamill's table where he was charging between $400 and $700 for autographs. Now, I haven't gone to a ton of Comic Cons, but regularly I'll look up cons to see who's going to be at various cons that are close to me and who might I like to see and what are they charging. Sometimes you're not going to know until you go. That kind of annoys me because I like to know ahead of time what I'm going to have to spend so that I can save up and be prepared for it. A lot of times you don't know, but I found, having gone to a few Comic Cons in the past several years, that typically, in most cases, for most celebrities, you're going to end up paying between 80 and 150 bucks for uh, an autograph or a photo op. A couple of years ago at the Mississippi Comic Con, I met Christopher Lloyd. There's a photo of the two of us on my wall over there. Didn't get his autograph. I think he was charging about $100 a pop. For those which, I mean, for Christopher Lloyd, that's a steal. He's one of the most, you know, well-known actors out there. Famous for Back to the Future and a bunch of other things. So, I mean... Not a terrible price for that at all. With Mark Hamill charging between 400 and 700 a lot of people are like, what's going on here? Like, why are you charging that much? That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I get it. On one hand, the guy is Mark Hamill. He's playing the main character in arguably the most famous sci-fi franchise that ever existed. On the other hand, we know he's not exactly hurting for money, so why is he charging these exorbitant prices? Well, a couple of things. The actors or the performers guests, whatever, celebrity guests, don't always set the prices. Sometimes what will happen is the conventional will charge them a flat fee for appearing, and they'll charge separate for the autograph, and the conventional will take most of the money from the autographs and the photo ops. Other times, it's the celebrity. Now, interesting to note that at this same convention in Chicago, William Shatner was there. Captain Kirk from Star Trek, a little bit before your time, I know. Uh, he was charging about, I think, 125 bucks a pop, which is not bad. Now, obviously, I would argue... Well, it's kind of tough. I would say Mark Hamill is a little more well-known than William Shatner, but I shoot, there was a convention while back. Somebody, I can't remember who, some big name, was charging, I think, like 250 or $300 for an autograph, which I thought was rather excessive. I know some celebrities like Michael Jordan charges a fortune for his autographs because, I mean, he's freaking Michael Jordan. I'm sure you know who he is, yeah. right? I mean, you weren't born until after you retired, but, <laughs> I mean, even kids his age know who Michael Jordan is. And so some people can definitely command a ton of money for their autographs. I want to show you this, if you could hand that to me. This is my uh, horrible noise there. This is my autograph from Brent Spiner when I met him in Ottawa a few years back. I think I paid 180 for the combo photo autograph thing. Um, the other reason why some celebrities might charge more for autographs is because there is unfortunately a subgroup of people out there who essentially chase celebrity autographs, they can get merchandise signed and sell it on the internet to make money. I am personally not against people who do this on a small scale. 
I'm not a big fan of the people who try to turn it into a business and make their living off that because I don't think it's fair to hound celebrities for their autographs because it makes it harder for people who are just fans like us to, uh, you know, engage with celebrities and spend reasonable prices for autographs and things like that. So it just sort of ruins it for everybody. But I kind of get it, you know, if you're charging between four and 700 for your autograph, obviously you're going to limit who gets your autograph because a lot of people aren't going to be willing to drop that kind of money on it. So I can't f fault that to an extent, but at the same time, I don't know. And other people are saying, well, Mark Hamill's a really nice guy. I don't know why he'd be doing that. Again, he might not have set the prices. I don't think he made a public statement one way or the other. Um, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen in the future with any of that, whether he'll lower his rates or whether he'll be different. They tend to change from con to con, not radically, maybe between 30 and 50 bucks here and there. The way I usually approach it is, you know, going to Comic-Con is not cheap. You're going to spend money. I mean, if you're like me, that is. You're going to spend money on celebrity appearances. You're going to spend money on photo ops. You're probably going to spend money uh, on a few bit of swag, bit of collectibles, whatever, if you've got any money left at that point. Got to get a um, lightsaber or a sword. Or right. You know, nobody goes to a Comic-Con to save money. Uh, when I go, I'm always expecting to probably spend at least $300, if not more. And I prepare for it. I say up in advance and make sure that I'm ready for it. But at the same time, I mean, I don't really want to spend that $300 for just one person last year no i'm sorry yeah last year 2023 when i went uh i spent a grand total of i think it was actually about 300 dollars, and i got four different photo ops with four of my favorite celebrities so i did really really good there but that's what i'm saying like i'd rather take my 400 bucks and get four photo ops for maybe lesser known celebrities than um blow it all on one celebrity unless it happened to be somebody that i really really wanted to see and that's a short list the only person off the top of my head actually two people and they're both from Ghostbusters that I would pay more than 200 for an autograph for would be Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. I would do oh, it yeah. for them. I would possibly do it for Patrick Stewart. There might be a couple others. I'd probably throw $200 Hugh Jackman's way because I absolutely love that guy. But suffice to say, the the people that I would spend that kind of money on, that list is extremely short. And another cool thing about meeting lesser known celebrities is you can actually spend some time to talk to these people. Yeah. When I went to the Comic-Con in Mississippi a couple years ago, I got tied up in a line waiting on a photo op, and I wanted to get an autograph from one of the ladies that was there, a girl, a lady who played April O'Neil in the first Ninja Turtles movie. And she was only charging like 40 bucks. And so I told my buddy, who was just kind of waiting around, he didn't have anything to do. I said, here's 40 bucks. Go and have her do the autograph. Have her sign my name to it, but you can go over and get it done. So anyway, I finished with my photo op, I meet up with my buddy, and he's like, yeah, it was really cool. I talked to her for a few minutes and told her that I was getting the autograph for my buddy Steve, and we had a nice little conversation. And that's really cool, you know, when you can kind of have a little chat with them, and it's not quite as heavy pressure as um, you might find in a big, big name where the line is really, really long, and they're just moving it through and through and through and through. And you might get a handshake and a, you know, I really like your work kind of thing, and that's about it, which is understandable in some cases, but... It's just kind of always one of those calculations when you go to Comic-Con. Another thing I've learned is obviously treat the celebrities with respect. Yeah. But remember that the, the people that are at Comic-Con, the guests, they're there basically doing business. And so, you know, you get a couple minutes with them and then things move on. They're not there to be your friends. They're not there to hang out. They're there to make their money and, and do what they came there to do. So that's basically my piece on that. Again, we're not sure how Mark Hamill's charging so much. He's a you know, massive Star Wars celebrity, so he obviously has every right in the world to charge a little bit. But... 400 to me might seem a little bit excessive, but yeah. such is the business of Comic-Con. Speaking of Comic-Cons, I found out today that I will be hosting a Ghostbusters panel at the upcoming South Alabama Comic-Con, which is taking place in Mobile, Alabama on September 21st and 22nd. So if you'll be out that way or attending the show, uh, please check me out. We'll be going late on Saturday morning around 11 o'clock, I think it is. He's going to be helping me with it. Basically going to be my AV guy and help me with some of the activities that we're running. But I'm really excited slash nervous about that. I hope it's going to go well. I think yeah. it will go well. I mean, it's about Ghostbusters. I'm very comfortable with Ghostbusters. Everybody who watches this channel knows. And um, as I go through the process, I'll have a video on that. Obviously, after it's done, I'll show you some video of that. But it's going to be a really great time, I think. And I'm looking forward to that. So thank you again, Paul, for helping me out. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I do try to put new videos up whenever I can, even though I know the schedule can be kind of erratic. My goal at this point is to do at least three every month. And I don't think that should be any problem to commit to. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you again soon.